I look about, I'm, I'm 27, I look about 40. King had never seen a drug damage users so severely. These people looked like the living dead. There were a couple people that stand out in my mind as catching my attention right off the bat. This guy is the first guy. This guy is the guy that really got my attention. He looked tough. He looked like a guy that you didn't want to mess with. He looked healthy and strong. And then you see him in a second picture and he looked helpless. You know, uh, just pitiful. King started looking through the digital records of more meth users and found that the pictures alone told a devastating story. It was apparent almost immediately when you saw their picture. I, mean, I kind of knew that they were on meth. All I had to do was do a little bit of digging to confirm it. But it was a pretty reliable effect with this drug. To help document this new phenomenon, King began making videos of people coming in high on meth. These videos show people in the throes of a terrible drug. One that can make them hyper, paranoid, delusional, and violent. With the video and pictures, King created an educational program called Faces of Meth. His goal? To stop families from being torn apart by the drug. These people have lives, they have families, they're often someone's son or daughter, mother or father, brother or sister. These are real people with real problems, and they're part of our community. King has seen firsthand how meth can destroy a promising young life. I went to school with this guy. He's a pretty good guy. He's been to jail 44 times here. That's not counting uh, the other places he's been. His name is Kobe Kempe, and his story is typical of a meth user. Back in high school, Kobe seemed to have a bright future ahead of him, but meth cut it short. I was an athlete. I guess you could call me a jock. I had a lot of friends. Um, <clears throat> I had a really nice car. Popular? Yeah, I was popular. During his high school years, Kobe began trying drugs, including cocaine. One day, he went looking to buy a hit of coke, but the dealer offered him something else, something that would change his life forever. She had this stuff called crystal meth. I never even heard of it. Never even heard that name. Kobe tried it before a big track meet and experienced a high unlike anything he'd felt before. It's almost like you have superhuman powers. It's almost like you feel like you're a, a different entity. You're, you're all of a sudden more than you were. You know, you're just better. Kind of like you won the lottery. You never have to work again. Your endurance is just off the map. Meth was working its magic, increasing Kobe's heart rate and making him feel stronger and more focused. And I remember after I consumed the meth, the first event was a shot put, and I threw the shot put, and I set the school record at that meet for the shot put. So the first time you did meth, you set the shot put record? Set the shot put record for my school. But over the years, the more he used the drug, the more he needed it. He dropped everything to get his hands on more meth. Instead of becoming the successful athlete or businessman he might have been, he racked up dozens of arrests over the course of 20 years. What is that like to have a son, star football player, star track runner? In the beginning, it was devastating. But then towards the end, when he was out on the streets and he was half dead, <laughs> it was a relief to know he was in jail. Just no 